Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Good morning. Good evening. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? What? That reminds me of the Truman Show. Oh, what did they do in the Truman Show? Good morning. In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that now. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I was watching it the other day. It's an interesting film. Yeah, I, yeah, I love, the, I love the idea of it. How are you? I'm good. Uh, today has been a good day. I've gone through some transformation in the last few months, which is uh, very uh, revealing about what it is that is important. I don't know. It's just sometimes you, it comes as a, as a thunderstruck. And all of a sudden, all those songs around you, you know, start to resonate within you, you know. And you know, I've been listening to Lenny Kravitz, you know, <laughs> you know, I never listen to Lenny Kravitz. It's just that, you know, those songs are like, it ain't over till it's over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, right. All the, um, what was the, what's that one song? Is that that song that's like, a, if you want it, you got it. You just have to believe, believe in yourself. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, because it's all just a dream. We just want to be loved. I love that that line. That... There's nothing really uh, maybe poetic or whatever. You know, there's no there's no layers or dimension, multiple. Di it's just pure. Yeah, uh, I love yeah. it. At least when it at the right moment, that's 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 what life is all about, right? Oh, absolutely, a hundred percent. I'm in Iceland. Oh, you're in Iceland. Nice. That's cool. Crap. Do you know that song by Led Zeppelin? Welcome to the land of license now with the midnight heartbeat. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 So that basically is a song about Iceland because it where the hot springs flow and the midnight sun. Yeah. And they are at a at a gig in 1969 and they wrote this song because they were inspired by the country. So basically right now we're having Midsummer's Night's nice Dream. There is a the peakest moment of of the sun so basically right now it's nine o'clock and the sun is out in the nighttime it's just completely sunny all the time and the the sky goes like all purpley and there's these endless colors that arise it's sort of it's a bit trippy actually oh you know i forgot to ask your name what was your name my name is huckney uh, huckney huckney that's it that's it huckney. okay H huckney uh, my name is reggie Reggie, nice yeah. to meet you. Reggie. Nice, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, I've spent some time in in Reykjavik. My friend, I have a friend there. She has a radio show there. Her name's Margaret Mack. Um, so, uh, yeah, Mack and Mock. Yeah, Mocky. Yeah. <laughs> You're a friend of mine too. We have a communal friend. That's awesome. Oh, uh, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so she she brought me she brought me there the first time and. Uh, it was amazing. And then I think I did a comedy festival there, which was very in insane because it's like <laughs> comedy in Iceland. It's very, it's, it's tough. My friend who actually is from New York as well. No, sorry, you're not from New York. Why do I suspect you're from New York? Well, Are you I, I, I lived in New York for 13 years. That's where I met uh, Moki. That's yeah. what I think. Yeah, because she goes to New York. Okay, okay. Yeah. But I suppose because you said good morning before, you are probably somewhere in the West oh, Coast. Oh, yes. I always say good morning. It's a bad habit. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I brought him to this sort of little comedy club. He was right. just like, this is the weirdest type of comedy I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> it, was like, it was so weird. There was nothing funny about it, which was what made it so, <laughs> like, there was a different, there was, you make a, a, a joke or, or, or punchline and people yeah. are like, yeah. Yeah, totally. Just very little reaction. Or they're laughing at things that aren't supposed to be funny, you know. But I mean, I don't mind it. I, I you know, I always try to find a way to communicate with people no matter what, you know, because you can use physical humor. And I, and I use music in my, in my act. So um, I will have music moments. And I think the music definitely brings people together. So I've had, I've had good, really good times. I mean, it is a beautiful town, especially in the summertime. It's, yeah, different people are more introspective. They, 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 they write a lot and they, they create a lot and produce a lot in the wintertime. But then in the summertime, it's just like the cows that go out in spring. It's just like they, they, they waken up. Right. I and so see. there's not a lot of productivity. I wouldn't say the product, product, productivity, but their spirits awaken them. And right now, it's sort of the height, I would say, yeah, it's the high point of summer. It's lovely. Where, where are you? Where are you, you are on the West Coast, you said. 
I well, I live uh, I live in Los Angeles, but right now I'm in uh, Montana, and because uh, I grew up in Montana. And uh, what what is it that you do? I'm a I'm a, I'm I'm a musician. I'm a composer. What about you? I'm a musician, uh, comedian, I guess. Ah, cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it's like a it's like improvisation, basically. You know, I have a band <laughs> that I that I play with on TV. Ah. Yeah, and it used to be called Karen. Is is that uh, now? I'm now I'm clicking. It's a late night TV in America. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. The late late show with James Corden. The English guy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's funny. Yeah, he's really sweet. I saw the um, the statement that he made about it was beautiful. I think it was Black Lives Matter. Yes. Yeah, it was, it was touching. It's just good to be a part of a show that you know takes that stuff seriously. And I also do a lot of technology stuff. Like I work in virtual reality, like do performances in VR. I, uh, I'm such a smart ass sometimes, you know. I somehow maneuvered myself into being uh, a lecturer at um, the computer science department here in the University of Iceland. Sick. Yeah, I know it was so, it was, it, but it was like, I was punching way above my waist because I don't know, I don't know anything about computers. But I, I, it was a theoretical class that was called Music, Beauty, Artificial Intelligence, and Chaos. Ooh. And it had a bit of esotericism in it because it was sort of on the nature of creativity and the nature of spirit and the nature of inspiration. It's somehow creating a mechanism that produces inspiration. So the theory was that since we are outsourcing technology, artificial intelligence, to do the jobs that lawyers or doctors or heart surgeons or cab drivers or whatever. Why don't we give them the holy grail itself, the one thing that humanity has, which is beauty and inspiration. Mm, nice. So that was a theory. And then we just, we talked quite a lot about symbolism, about poetry. And I was sort of just facilitating these computer science students and, 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 and creating something that produces an emotion, but in a beautiful way, I think, because, you know, some of them made music, but I was actually more centered around storytelling. So they created script, like little robots that made scripts. They took the, the whole over of Harold Pinter, put it together, and they made a little intelligence that, that produced a, a scene. Wow. Like a Pinter, Pinterest, Pinterest scene. And then we got these two actors, famous actors, to... to uh, yeah. I created a nice, like, you know, little meta situation. How was that? How was it was beautiful. It had. It, it was like a dream. Yeah. No, I, I feel that very much. If anything, technology should do what it was promised to do, which is to give us more time to think about the ideas of what it means to be alive. True. You know, it's like the reason why we want manufacturing robots or, you know, these types of things that take over these menial jobs is because it frees us up to think more about the universe and our place in it. I mean, we're seeing it now. I think that there's going to have to be some kind of, without sounding too idealistic, but uh, a new like love revolution, you know, mm -hmm. like a, a revolution where people value emotions and people's happiness uh, over profits. Yeah. So you studied music. Did yeah. You, what instrument did you study? Well, I studied piano from age five to 16, uh -huh. uh, classical piano. And then I played violin in the uh, school system for eight years. Played. Me too, man. I'm a violin uh -huh. player as well. Yeah, I studied violin for eight, ten years as well. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, did you, play, violin. did you play the double concerto by Bach? Oh, oh I think we did play that. Yeah. yeah. What What are your main instruments then? Probably piano, guitar, um, play a little viola. I'm a singer as well. But I kind of stopped touring now. And I, had, I was in two bands, still am. One like a pop band or orchestral, and then a dance music, electronic techno music. And we toured around here and there, oh, cool. around the world. Um, what were but they? now, I, now I do mostly uh, compose for film and, and TV. I tell the I tell the directors that my method is I put a poster of Harrison Ford in front of me, and if the music works for the trailer of Fugitive, I'm happy. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I love having the, the 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 simple simple motivators. Do you remember the movie Legend? Oh, with uh, my favorite actor ever, Will Smith. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, that was good. No, um, with Tom Cruise and Mia Sara. Ah. And uh, Tim Curry. It's if you ever get a chance, check it out. It's an amazing movie, but it was came out in the eighties and it was a fantasy movie. I decided to rescore the the the, the movie, but live. 
So for a comedy festival, um, <laughs> and I got a bunch of synthesizers and I had some looping pedals and stuff like that. And the movie started and I was like doing everything. I was trying to like do the music and then do the voices. <laughs> it was so stupid. That sounds <laughs> stupid and amazing. It was really stupid and yeah, possibly amazing. Now I try to make everything an improvisation, whether it's a TV show, you know, idea uh, or mm -hmm. shooting something. Uh, in TV or if I'm a guest on something, I always tell people like, I'm an improviser, so don't expect me to use the script. If you can't improvise, you can't create. I mean, you have to, it's a flow. It's it's the best. And that's the one thing I do miss is, you know, being able to jam with other people. You know, I, t I try to do it. I guess that's why I started looping because I'm jamming with myself, you know. Who are some of your favorites? Probably the band that I dig the most when I was growing had a good and affect me. I was so lucky that I got to play basketball with them because I'm a basketball player. And <laughs> they came in and played a show here. It's the, the Arcade Fire. And I was, you know... 18, 19, they gave out their first record and me and my friends, we were, you know, inspired by them. All the instruments and the different, you know, just there were nine on stage or 10 and, and just these different sounds and like a little classical, like a bassoon and clarinets and, harm, you know, accordions, whatever. They came to, to Iceland and played a show here and they stayed for a week. And the singer, which I can't remember the name. Uh, Wynn? Wynn Butler, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's my buddy now. I told him I was the Don Johnson of Iceland. <laughs> And he laughed. I totally believe it. <laughs> <laughs> he said, where's your boat? He said. <laughs> <laughs> and your alligator. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he wanted to play basketball. And, and these, uh, my friends who are basketball players, they set up this game. I got to guard him for the last <laughs> point. I, we were guarding each other. And I, I put down really cool baskets. Like I was performing well, much better than I would have thought. It was, I, I suppose I had extra energy. There was a, there was a touch in the, in the game that was... Um, you know, like Space Jam, you know, there's a little magic in the air. Yeah. And I put down this three, like a really deep three, and we were just, uh, it was the last basket, and I was guarding him, and he's, he's a kind of a big guy. Yeah. And he big. punches me down and goes down on the post. And then I sort of let him go, and I stop guarding him, and he shoots the basket, and he scores, and he wins the game. And then we go off the field, and we have a drink of water, and he's like, Pardon me, I would have never done that to you, giving me the last basket like that. He was so angry about it, you know. Why didn't you guard me, you motherfucker? Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> well, why, why didn't you? You just were. I, I said, that's what I said. I had too much respect. I said, too much respect. Oh, that's sweet. You gotta give offerings to the king, right? Now. Yeah, I, I understand that. Yeah, wind's good. Those guys are good. I mean, there's a lot of amazing bands in Los Angeles right now that. There's like a band called Automatic. They're like three young women, kind of post-punk. They're great. The Flatworms is another band. Panther Modern, another band. Gothic Tropic. They're all young, very lovely people and very loving people. I think it's important because right now here in Iceland, there's a big pop scene and, and it's, a, it's a lot of hip hop. But there aren't so many bands right now. I came out of band culture. I, I, you know, when I was 17, we, you know, there were all these bands from New York, like these indie bands. Oh, yeah, like the Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs. Yeah, 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 Yeahs, for example. Yeah, TV on the radio. House of Jealous Lovers. Yeah, LCD Sound um, House of Jealous Lovers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that song. First Love it. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Just the band culture, you know, five people on stage you know, bursting with energy and passion. Yeah, I mean, there's like, there's nothing like a band. I was a fan of Sugar Cubes, you know, Bjork and Moom and... Uh, uh, I used to be in Moom. I used to tour with Moom and I played a show in New York. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. Huh, I wonder. Maybe you were there. I remember meeting some musicians, like a couple string players. The cello player, maybe? Oh, yes, the cello player, woman. Gila, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. I might have met you. Yeah, yeah, we might have met. I was actually playing violin, so 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 maybe yeah, maybe we met there. That's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, because you look kind of familiar when we when you first popped on the stage. But anyways, yeah. we'll see. Yeah. Who knows? I'm, I'm like, I had shorter hair, so maybe it's. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah. No, it definitely wasn't you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, no, I I no. Moom is a firing artist with uh, with integrity. You know? I toured with him in the states. I remember I got this guitar. Um, I bought this guitar in Austin, Texas, and I toured with it. Oh, wow. Sounds good. Yes, yeah, it's, it's so nice. I, I have been playing piano so much in the, in the last years, but I, I just started picking up the 
guitar again because it's there's much more in earth in it. It's like yeah. um, when you write songs on piano, sometimes it becomes too grand or something, you know, too big. But but yeah. if, it's, if it's drummed on guitar, it's just like this. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm obsessed by country. I used to spend my life out in a bar room. Liquor was the only love I've known. It's America. Oh. You're as smooth as Tennessee whiskey. You're as sweet as strawberry wine. You're as warm as a glass of brandy. And honey, I stay stoned on your love all the time. Who is that? That's a song. That's like an 80s country song that I, this, this country singer called Chris, well, this singer called Chris Stapleton, he, um, Oh yeah, my friend just was in love with it, and she just performed this song to me, and I was like, oh, I love this song because there's, there's uh, something about the stories in it. And, yeah, and so I got picked up the guitar a little more now. I do love country music for sure, especially old country, and I love, and I really love um, Casey Musgraves. Oh, that's that's yeah, she's she's a, she's a, she's amazing. She's so fantastic. I, I would argue she's better live than she is on a recording. The recordings are great, but. Um, mm -hmm. Her voice is so insane. It's so good. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. She's very inspirational, and I like that she's bringing that a slightly classical kind of a, kind of an elevated version of country, like back to the days of you know Dolly Parton and Chris Christopherson, or yeah. uh, um, who's the other? He did a Wichita lineman. I am a lineman for the county, <laughs> and I'm saying I'm a. Oh, da, 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 da. Just there was that era where people were would dress really nice in like really cool suits with like little you know bolo yeah. ties and a, and a nice crisp hat. There was a class to it that, that I uh, really, elegance to it, yeah. The like, elegant. No, and and I was writing this song, and I I that that's the sort of vibe that I thought like a little string quartet with a like after hacked after and fluid and can correct after and it's beautiful. I, 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 I need all that stuff. <laughs> like, like all those forms of music. Like I love every form of music. If you like music, then you'll like anything that's sincere and good. And that's just my, my take on it. Well, Reggie, it's been, an, it's been a pleasure speaking to you. Yeah, man. It's been awesome. Super mellow, chill. Yeah. Groovy. Groovy. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm so glad we know the same, similar, some, some people. That's good to yeah, know. Yeah, we have communal friends, and yep. uh, where, whenever, whenever in 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 down the road, it's um, it'll be a pleasure to see you again. Absolutely, man. Yeah, I'll come. I'll come stop by Reykjavik when uh, flying is legal. Yeah, please. <laughs> have a wonderful day. Yeah, man. You too. All right. Uh, Ciao. <laughs> see you, see you, man. Steve.